geography lesson for free. We are going to look at the topic uh, external landform processes. Uh, that is the topic we have been covering for the last uh, few weeks. Remember, we started with the uh, example of types of external landform processes. We covered the subtopic and the uh, weathering and mass wasting. We looked at the features that are formed as a result of mass wasting and weathering. Uh, we also looked at the action of rivers. We looked at the features that are formed as a result of uh, action of rivers. Now, it is a continuation of the same topic, that is the external landforming process. But in today's lesson, we are going to look at the uh, action of wind and water in arid uh, areas. Now, before we look at uh, that topic, we are going to start by looking at the objectives of this topic. Now, we look at the objectives. Objectives of the topic. So, one, by the end of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, the learner, by the end of this topic, the learner should be able, should be able, should be able, by the end of this topic, the learner should be able to, number one, uh, define the term lesson, define the term lesson, number two, to state the types of lesson, state the types of lesson, and number three, you should be able to describe the processes. Describe the processes. Describe the, the processes of wind and water. Describe the processes of wind and water. Describe the processes of wind and water action in arid areas. You should also be able to explain the factors influencing wind action. Explain factors influencing wind action. Factors influencing wind action. Factors influencing wind action, wind action. Wind action in arid areas. Factors influencing wind action in arid areas. You should also be able to describe the features. Should be able to describe the resultant features. Describe the features. Features formed as a result of water and wind action in arid areas. And finally, you should be able to discuss the significance. Discuss the significance of these features. So those are our uh, objectives of this uh, topic. Before we end this topic, you should be able to define the term descent. Also, you should be able to state the types of descents. Uh, you should be able to describe the processes of wind and water action in arid areas. Again, you should be able to explain factors influencing wind action in arid areas. Again, you should be able to describe the features that are formed as a result of wind and water action in arid areas. And finally, you should be able to give the significance of these features that are formed as a result of action of wind and water in every area. So it is important uh, by the end of the topic, you test yourself and ensure that you are meeting all the objectives. So in our today's lesson, we are going to look at the first three objectives. In our first, uh, in this, in our today's lesson, we are going to look at the first uh, three objectives. And we start with the first one, which is the definition of the term death science. Now, I know the sun is not a new one to you. 
you have come across it uh, before, uh, but it is important you define it because this is the one that we are going to be using throughout this topic. So it is important we get to understand the meaning, or rather to redefine again the meaning of the term descent. But before we define the term descent, it is good we define the term aridity. Aridity, uh, we encounter this one uh, again in Form 2 when we are covering uh, the topic uh, climate and uh, we defined aridity uh, to a state of land. We defined aridity to a state of land. We defined aridity as a state of land being deficient. State of land being deficient. Being deficient in moisture. Being deficient in moisture, which means, which means to scanty, which means to scanty vegetation, which means to scanty vegetation or even lack of it or even lack of it. So that is what uh, we defined uh, the term aridity in our previous uh, lesson in Form 2 under the topic climate, we said it is the state of land being deficient of moisture, which leads to scanty vegetation or even lack of it. Now, um, that is what uh, we have covered for today. Now, very first we go to definition of the term uh, descent. We go to the definition of the term Descent, which means is an having area. We define the term descent. It refers to an arid area. Descent refers to an arid area of sparse vegetation. Of sparse, of sparse, of sparse vegetation, which means the same as aridity. Descent, it refers to an area of, um, it refers to a hard area, it refers to an hard area of sparse vegetation. So, in other words, when you talk of aridity, it's the same as talking of what? Talking of descent. Now, from there we are going to look at the types of uh, descent, which is our next, uh, our second objective, types of descent. Types of descent. Types of descent. Now, descent are categorized into three. Descent are categorized into three. One, they are categorized according to the temperatures experienced. Number two, they are categorized according to their location. And finally, they are categorized according to their surface. So uh, we are going to look at uh, those uh, three categories of uh, descent. Now, the first one is uh, we are going to look at uh, categories or other classification. Classification of descent. Now, saying uh, descent are classified uh, into three. One, they are classified according. They are classified according to the nature of the surface. Um, according to the nature of the surface. So that is the first uh, classification of descent. Second one is according to their location. According to their location. According to their location. And lastly, according to temperatures. According to temperatures. 
according to temporary child's experience in them. So, under types of descent, uh, I've seen the, you're going to look at the classification and they are classified the, according to the nature of the surface, according to their location, and according to temperatures. Now, um, in our next lesson, we are going to look at classification of these descents, which is going to give us uh, the types. Now, before we meet in our next lesson, I'm expecting you to do the research so that before I come, you already have gotten those types of descents. So, thank you for today. We'll meet again during our next lesson.